Hey, how's it going guys? It's Josh here. And we got episode 2 of Gotta Go Fast. If you don't know what this series is, it's where I show you how to go fast, basically. Not really how to go fast, exactly, but more like how to cap flags fast. So that's what this series is, capping flags as fast as you can in the game Tribes Ascend. So this is the first route I got going from, I think it's the Diamond Sword side... No, 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 sorry, it is the Blood Eagle side going to the di Diamond Sword base. This is a more of a direct route. You just go over top of the mountain, grab the flag, you get a Gotta Go Fast medal, and then you just make your way through the back end on this right side over here. Or left side, depending on which way you're looking at it. But, either way, you're gonna bring the flag over here. All these routes that I did were all in one take, so they were just kind of improvised. So, hope you guys enjoy that. Some of them I really fail on, like this one actually, when I return, or when I get the cap, I hit the side there. So, in theory, you won't do that. So, just try and actually hit the flag stand rather than the stand itself. So, go for that, and now we move on to flag cap number two. I'm actually out of fusion grenades or whatever they're called in this clip, so I may at some point substitute a fusion grenade for a spin fuser shot, but at this point I didn't have it. So what you want to do is you want to get up on top of this mountain. Once you're up here, usually you probably want to let your energy recharge, but you're going to take this, uh, I guess it would be a s jump. You're going to just ski down, grab the flag, actually probably back there was when I would have used the fusion grenade but you're gonna go pretty fast and you're gonna pick up the flag take this other side and make your way back to your base hopefully you're actually hoping during this run especially if you use the spin viewer shots you're gonna be low on health so you're hoping that there's no enemies after you and if there are you're also hoping that they're not using assault rifles and you can outspeed them and they don't get a lucky shot because otherwise, you're probably going to die if you do exactly what I did by not recharging my health at the top and hitting myself with the spin fuser a couple times. So you'll probably die if you do that. In theory though, again, it should work. So I'm going to switch teams over here to the Diamond Sword team. And we're going to show you three flag cap routes from this side. So let me just get my bearings here. I think I do want to go over to the left over here to start off this flag cap. And I actually use this flag cap a lot in the game. It's probably one of my favorite routes to take, other than maybe one on Arx Novena. But this is a very, very good route. So what you want to do is shoot your spin fuser at the ground here, get, get some momentum to go to the top of here. Uh, I don't know why, but you used to be able to get to the top and actually go a bit higher. But you're going to slide down here, go along here, and then shoot your spin fuser again at the ground, pick up some more momentum, and you get going really fast with this flag here. In my montage, there was this clip, and I just grabbed the, I grabbed the flag, and the enemies had no chance to even stop me. The only way you're really going to get stopped is if you either kill yourself by suicide, or if a Doombringer has a force field up there. That's really going to be the only way. Sometimes a technician can get you as well. But it's a bit more rare since you're going so fast. You'd have to be pretty low on health like I am right here to actually get killed by it. So that's the end of this flag cap. Uh, we're going to move on to flag cap number two. And I fail again pretty much at hitting the flag stand. I always do. I don't know what is with it. But in theory you should be able to do this without failing. Now for this next flag cap. You're going to want to start over here at this hill, or somewhere around here. So you want to pick up some speed, go down the hill, and again, hit yourself with a spin fuser. If you don't know why I'm hitting myself with a spin fuser, uh, first of all, I would think you would have picked up on it by now, but if you are really that lost, and you're also wondering why I'm hitting myself with fusion grenades, it's because you do gain momentum from them. And this momentum you'll get probably by doing this. You probably won't be able to get it any other way. It's a really good way to pretty much not have the uh, force pack or whatever it's called for the Pathfinder. You can still have the energy pack and still get a boost of speed right at, at any instant. You just have to hit yourself. 
So that's what I'm doing there, in case you were wondering. And this flag cap is going to be a really direct route. The enemies will not see it coming. Well, they might see it coming, but they won't have any chance to stop it, really. As usually you won't hit this corner like I do right there. But anyways, let's say you did. So you're only going somewhat fast, and you're going across the midfield. You All you want to do is, again, shoot your spin shoots again. Hopefully you have enough health for two shots. If you do have enough for two shots, then you should be able to get a ton of speed. Bring back the flag for the cap, just like that. And that'll get you guys one flag cap. So then finally, we have one more flag capture route. This last route, I do believe, involves going around one of the sides. And it is an extremely viable route, especially after you just finished that cap that I just showed you. So, you wanted to get some momentum from that hill back there. If you don't have any when you're going, you can make some by just jetpacking to the top of the hill. And then you want to go down, and you want to do a reverse of the last route, where you just go straight onto the enemy flag through the midfield like this, grab the enemy flag, get a gotta go fast, and then you want to take this hill kind of funny, sort of like in a circular motion to get you going back around the other way. And usually, yeah, you'll hit yourself with a spin fuser, get some momentum. And you want to go around this backside to go and take it back to your flag. So, that'll be the end of How to Go Fast, episode number two. This has been the map Catabatic. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I think probably the next map I'll do will be Arx Novena, since that's quickly becoming my favorite map, actually. I really like that map. And... Well, actually, it's a toss-up between that map and the new map. I don't know what it's called because I haven't really played too much since the last patch. But I think it's like Doom Temple or something, or Lava or something. I'm not really sure. But if you guys do have a preference, leave me a comment. Tell me which one you'd like to see first because I could do either one. And I won't forget about the other maps I haven't done either. So, hope you guys enjoyed this. And I'll see you guys for the next episode of Gotta Go Fast. Thank <laughs> you.